Hey, hey, Lego peeps, and welcome to Scott's Blocks. And as you can see today, we have some train action going on. Yes, here we have the new Lego City Trains, just newly released in the U.S. And here you see the first one. And of course, we had to get two of them to make it a full-size train, of course. And not to be left behind, of course, we have the new cargo train. And I put a few extra cars on here. Ooh. So I wanted to uh, kind of show off that, too. Got to have my friend... Brickable cow riding aboard. And then, of course, the main reason everybody wanted the cargo train was for this lovely car carrier. And, uh, pretty cool functions with that and everything. But, my main focus was getting the new passenger train. Now, let's try that again. Oh, hung up in the turns, y'all. Let's see if we can get a better rolling start. This is uh, unedited special footage y'all get to see here. Let's see, can we make it through? Oh, we're hanging up. That's the problem. Okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, so we got that one going now. And we'll go ahead and get this guy going. Oh, would you, would you look at that? I have a wall of forestman sets just sitting here chilling. Isn't that interesting? So here they come around the bend. We got the cargo train going faster than the high speed passenger train. Let's fix that real quick. Y'all some footage of uh, trains making it around the city here. She slows down in that turn. I don't know if it's the train cars that I have on there, but she don't like those turns right there. But after that, she gets going pretty good. Another little angle. They pass through the buildings back there. And then they come around the front. A little view of my cargo loading dock area. I got some construction vehicles hanging out over here for right now. So, yep, that's a little footage of the trains running. And something else I wanted to show y'all. Of course, we know that the new passenger train came with lights. And I, I do have those set up as well. Let's stop this guy and bring this guy forward a little bit. And turn them all the way up. There we go. So I have lights here. Well... Unfortunately, the new powered up system only has two ports, so you can only hook up two items. There's, you're not, you can't stack them like you could with the old power functions. So I decided that I wanted to have lights in the back of my train, so I figured I would have to use a battery box, which is what I did. I put the powered up in here, and all I simply did was install the motor backwards on this engine and that allowed me to have a battery box to put some lights in and I just went ahead and put a little red uh, one by one tile I don't know if you can see in there you can kind of see the LED and then the little tile right in front and it 
fits right in there. I had to remove the brick that would normally go there. That's why there's such a big gap right there. But it portrays what I wanted it to portray. And I, if I can find them, I might change these out to clear instead of the trans blue. But um, it doesn't look too bad here. I'll turn the lights off and get him going. And y'all can see it with the lights on and the lights off, I guess you could say. I don't know if I like the green light emanating from the top of the engines like that, but at least it adds some more lights to it, which I really want to try to get my passenger carriages lit up as well. That'll definitely be my next step. But yeah, that's the new trains on my layout. Um, speaking of lights inside of trains... I will be doing a video on this train, which actually is fully illuminated with Lego lighting. Um, so stay tuned for that video coming hopefully soon. I know I don't post a lot. Sorry about that, y'all. But I, I try to put the videos out when I can. So thanks for watching this one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed the show. And until next time, later.